Hello everyone, welcome to the first ever video and tutorial from Brushwork. I'm going to show you how you can create a really simple logo for your group or game. If you want to see more tutorials, make sure to comment down below what kind of tutorial you would like to do next. Also make sure to like this video and subscribe if you would like to support us. You can also join our Discord server down below where other designers can help you and you can hang out with other different designers. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started. So here I have my text. And you're gonna want to choose a pretty bold font. This is my go, I mean my to go font, I guess. And then just choose a pretty nice color. And when you do that, I'm just gonna customize this a little bit by making these inner colors, I mean inner letters, smaller, just like that. And then just right click on the text and rasterize type. And then when you do that, just press Ctrl T on your keyboard. And I think you can follow this through Pro P as well. And then right click here, press perspective, and now just drag it out a little bit like this, not too much or not, it won't look good. Oh my god, I'm stuttering. Okay, so now go ahead and duplicate this layer. So you have another here, and now make a new layer above the one below, and right click on that new layer, press uh, create clipper mask, and then choose a darker color. I'm going to choose this color, uh, this one over here. So just drag it down to like here. And then now just uh, color it in like this. All right, and now you're going to want to merge these two colors just like that. Merge these two layers, all right? So now you can uh, press Ctrl T again and drag it in like this. Not too much actually, let me just do this again. And then just center it, drag it down, see how it looks. And I think it looks alright. Maybe a little bit more and center it again. Alright, so now make a new layer above that. This is uh, the layer where we'll be connecting. Alright, so now when you do that, you can go ahead and actually connect the parts which aren't connected. Alright, so now just connect it like this. And also, just a little tip here. If you uh, if you can't see the parts where you want to connect, you can go ahead and just drag down the opacity a little bit like this. Or you could just uh, draw some dots on top like here like this. I'm just gonna show you real quick. Just a dot like this one, like this, so you can see it like that. But I'm just gonna go ahead and um, drag down the opacity, uh, which is this layer. Alright, so now go ahead and continue filling in these parts, and I'll be back to you when uh, I'm finished filling this in. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how you can do this as well on these edges here or this when the lettuce is like rounded like this one. So I see a lot of designers making this uh, mistake, which they are going to do it like this and like this. And this is wrong. So what you're going to want to do, not, not like this, so not like this, it's not going to look good. So what you're going to want to do instead is just grab your polygon last tool and always make sure it's just a straight line like this so remember it's always going to be a straight line you'll never need to bend the 3d so i'm just going to redo that real quick and make sure it's perfect so this is not Good. Just here. Alright, so it's gonna take some time before you can make it look good. So something like that, and as you can see, it looks uh, good. So I'm gonna get back to you 
when I've finished looking the rest. Alright, so now I think I've finished uh, filling in everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually bring the opacity back up. As you can see, the connection looks good. So now we can go ahead and start with the shading. So shading, before we do that, actually just uh, merge these two layers. You can press on the first one and then the second while holding, uh, while holding shift and press Ctrl E. Or you can right click and merge layers over here. Alright, so now make a new layer above the 3D and right click on the new layer, create a clipper mask. So now we're gonna want to um, start with the 3D. So before we do that, just gonna grab the 3D color again and okay, so I'm back. Alright, so now just uh, fill this in like that. Um, actually, go ahead and grab a stop the brush and pass to like 50. Just like that. Alright, and then do that to the rest. Alright, um. Something like that. And now go ahead and do this to the rest, and I'll be back when I'm finished. Alright, so now I'm just going to show you something real quick here. So, as you can see here, this is a um, there's no uh, edges, like hard edges here. So, as you can see here, the, the font is kind of smaller here, and then this gets more wider here. So, where it's smaller, you're gonna want to add more shadows. So, something like that. Like that. And this, not too much. And the same thing goes here. And just delete any when just erase any hard edges. Alright, so I'll be back when I'm finished with the rest. Alright, so now I'm pretty much done with the shading. Now we just need to add some uh, light on top. So make a new layer above that and create a mask. And then choose a pretty uh, bright blue. Maybe the same as this one. But then a little bit more this side, like that. And then now go ahead and um, Fill these areas in like this. I'll show you in a second. So like this, just like that. I'll give you a more bending feel to it, so it will look more pretty. So something like that, and same thing here, and same thing here. Actually. And then just every place like that one. Oops, no, I did there. Hi, right, so You know, this, this doesn't feel right over here. I don't think we've connected this part here. 
But I'm just gonna ignore this. Alright, so go ahead and make a new loop of that again. And now just like places like this one, just make sure to uh, color in. Alright, so again like here and there there and right there okay and then just a little bit here in the middle Alright, so just like that, I'm pretty much done with the 3D. So now, I'll go ahead and go to your layer above and uh, make a new layer, right click, uh, create three mask, and choose a all like white with the blue tone, and then just uh, pass it back on 100%, and like this. Make it a little bit bigger, so like that, and make sure to put the uh, blending mode on overlay, and then you can drag down the fill or opacity wherever you want, and then now duplicate this layer, duplicate that one, drag it above everything, fill on zero, uh, double click on it to bring up the text style or layer style, and then on the stroke. I'm going to use the size 9 and press OK. Now I just right click on the stroke and rest as layer style and make a new layer above that one and right click, create a copy mask. And then you can go ahead and uh, use a white color and then just color it in like this. And like that. And then just drag, I'm just going to Pump up the overlay layer and then make a layer uh, below this one and make sure it's uh, fully white and pass the 100 and then I'm going to use this brush, this square brush and then just do some shapes, something like that and then overlay and then fill, break it down. And as you can see, our logo is looking good. So what you, what you will do next um, is just add some vectors. But I'm not going to do that today since it's a simple logo. So yeah, I uh, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And make sure to like again and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial.